I request the chief guest of this Valley Fair function, Dr. D. V. Sutta, and the president for this Valley function, Professor Dr. D. V. Kalanchetti, sir, to kindly occupy a seat on the dais. Namaskar. Adi time to time sakar pasun sirun sala hai. Adi kya sudhati na adi chhota sessioni gaati kani hui. Kya bola kya chhota veer mathe aniya veer mathe phar saantar mein chhota. Ni purkya kya dikaniya ani singana ya dikani sajja krutaai namaskar. शिक्षण संस्थे के जी एम कॉलेज करा शिवाजी विद्यापीठ रंगपाल संघटना अर्थात शुक्ला संयुक्त विद्यमा महाविद्यालय रंगपाला प्रैक्टिकल लाइब्रेरीशिप एंड क्वालिटी अनाउंसमेंट या विषया आयोजित एक दिवसीय नैशनल कॉन्फरन्स मध्य वैल्युटी फंक्शन सा मंच उपस्थित कार्यक्रम के प्रमुख पाने शिवाजी विद्यापीठा बैरिस्टर बाहब साहब खेड़ेकर कॉलेज रिसोर्स सेंटर से प्रभारी संचालक प्राध्यापक डॉक्टर डी बी सुतार सर या कार्यक्रम अध्यक्ष प्राध्यापक डॉक्टर जी बी कल्याण सी टी सर कॉन्फरन्स कन्वेनर तथा ग्रंथपाल महेश गायकवाड़ सर उपस्थित ग्रंथपाल प्राध्यापक बंधु भगिनी संशोधक विद्यार्थी मित्रो सुरुआती महाविद्यालय प्राचार्य ग्रंथपाल संपूर्ण टीम अभिनंदन करो हि कॉन्फरन्स अत्यंत चांगल पद्धति आयोजित कर धन्यवाद डॉक्टर जी बी सुतार सर एक एस एस पी ग्रंथपाल विद्यापीठ नॉलेज रिसोर्स सेंटर से सद्या प्रभारी संचालक असा थक करना प्रवास अपना अपना सर्वान परिचित है अल्फावधित शिवाजी विद्यापीठा नॉलेज रिसोर्स सेंटर मध्य अपने कुशल नेतृत्व की चमक दाखिल है विद्यापीठा ग्रंथालय उदीदार आहो गेवीस वर्ष क्षेत्र भरीव अर काम के राष्ट्रीय आंतरराष्ट्रीय पत्र अनेक संशोधन पर अभ्यास पूर्ण लेख प्रकाशित अध्यापन कर या महाविद्यालय महाविद्यालयिका मध्य भर पड़ना कुशल प्रशासक आदरणीय प्राचार्य डॉक्टर मोहन राजमाने सर सका अपने समोर होते हैं विशेष आभार मानत स्वागत करते अपन सर्व उपस्थित ग्रंथपाल स्वागत प्रमुखान शिवाजी विद्यापीठ ग्रंथपाल हक्का व्यासपीठ मिले संघटने की स्थापना जुले सत्रह मध्य कर आज साधारण एकशे एक लोग संघटने के सभासद है जुलाई सत्रह मध्य संघटने की जारी स्थापना रोजी संघटने का रिश्तर नोंद प्रमाणपत्र प्राप्त संघटने का जन्म होवल चार वर्ष जारी तरी संघटने ने अल्पावधित ग्रंथालय चाली अनेक उपक्रम हाथी घी पर पूर्ण के अपना ज्ञात चर्चा सत्र 
गेल्या अनेक वर्ष आपण संघटना स्थापन करावी अशा स्वरूपाची चर्चा करण्यासाठी दुसऱ्याकडे विनंती करत होतो वेळ दुसऱ्याकडून वेळ मागवून घेत होतो तथापि आज विविध महाविद्यालय विद्यापीठ यांच्या संयुक्त प्रयत्नातून अनेक चर्चासत्र परिषदा यांचं आयोजन संघटना अगदी लीड घेऊन या ठिकाणी करत आहे भविष्यातही करीत करीत राहील आज अखेर गेल्या तीन वर्षामध्ये बावीस हून अधिक कार्यशाळा परिषदा यांचं आयोजन संघटनेनं यशस्वीपणे जोरदारपणे ते नेटक नियोजन करून पूर्ण केलेलं आहे ही निश्चितच आम्हा तमाम ग्रंथपालांना निश्चित आनंदाची बाब आहे आज अखेर सुमारे सव्वीस महाविद्यालय आणि संघटनेची यमोई केलेल्या आहेत न्यायमध्ये अत्यंत महत्वाचा भाग आहे आपण हे जाणता आणि हे केवळ एमओई जे आहे ते केवळ न्यायला दाखवण्यासाठी कागदोपत्री एमओई नाही तर ते फंक्शनल एमओई आहेत हे या ठिकाणी आवर्जून मला नमूद करावं लागेल आणि आजची ही जी कॉन्फरन्स आहे राष्ट्रीय कॉन्फरन्स जे आयोजित केलेली आहे एच जी एम कॉलेज कराड मध्ये या एमओईचाच एक या ठिकाणी भाग आहे ग्रामीण भागातील चौदाहून अधिक सार्वजनिक ग्रंथालयांच्या स्थापनेमध्ये संघटनेने पुढाकार घेतलेला आहे आणि ती वाचनालय सार्वजनिक वाचनालय चांगल्या पद्धतीनं ग्रामीण भागामध्ये कसं कामकाज करतील या अनुषंगानं संघटनेने त्यांना नेहमी सहकार्य केलेलं आहे गेल्या दोन वर्षापूर्वी महापुराने बाधित झालेल्या सार्वजनिक ग्रंथालयांना सदळ अर्थाने आर्थिक योगदान व तांत्रिक सहाय्य हे सर्व सुकला मेंबरच्या वतीनं सुकला संघटनेनं हे योगदान दिलेलं आहे याशिवाय सामाजिक बांधिलकी म्हणून गरीब गरजू होतकूर विद्यार्थ्यांना त्यांच्या पुढील शैक्षणिक वाटचालीत आर्थिक हातभार लावण्याचं काम देखील संघटना आज देखील निर्मितपणे सातत्यानं करत आहे आजच्या या कार्यक्रमामध्ये आमचे काही ग्रंथाल प्रभारी प्राचार्य पदाचा कार्यभार समर्थपणे सांभाळत आहे त्याचा निश्चितच आम्हाला अभिमान आहे की गौरवास्तव बाब आहे सर्व ग्रंथपालांच्या दृष्टीनं आज महाराष्ट्रात सात ग्रंथपाल रिक्सर निवड समितीद्वारे प्राचार्य म्हणून कार्यरत आहेत आणि आपल्याकडं दोन प्रभारी प्राचार्य या ठिकाणी त्यांची निवड झालेली आहे आणि समर्थपणे ते गेले तीन वर्ष कामकाज करत आहेत त्यांचा सत्कार या ठिकाणी होईल याशिवाय कोरोनामध्ये किंवा काही तांत्रिक अडचणीमुळे आपण दोन तीन वर्ष भेटलो नव्हतो दोन हजार एकोणीस नंतर आजच आपली समोरासमोर या ठिकाणी भेट होत आहे ऑफलाईनच्या माध्यमातून आपण एकत्र येत आहोत तर असे काही मध्यंतरीच्या काळामध्ये असोसिएट प्रोफेसर हे लाभलेले आपले काही ग्रंथपाल आहेत याशिवाय पीएच डी संपादित केलेले काही ग्रंथपाल आहेत नेटसाईट उत्तीर्ण ग्रंथपाल आणि विशेष उल्लेखनीय कामगिरी केलेल्या ग्रंथपालांचा सत्कार प्रमुख पाहुणे व अध्यक्ष उपस्थित सर्वांचे असते या ठिकाणी होणार आहे पुन्हाच एकदा मी या कार्यक्रम प्रसंगी आपण सर्वांचं स्वागत करतो थांबतो धन्यवाद थँक यू व्हेरी मच सर फॉर युअर ब्युटिफुल इंट्रोडक्शन आय वुड लाईक टू रिक्वेस्ट रिस्पेक्टेड प्रोफेसर जी बी कल्याण शेट्टी सर आय क्यू एस सी कोऑर्डिनेटर एच एम कॉलेज कराड टू फेलिसिटेट ऑनरेबल चीफ गेस्ट डॉक्टर डी बी सुतार इन्चार्ज डिरेक्टर बॅरिस्टर बाळासाहेब खर्डेकर नॉलेज रिसोर्स सेंटर शिवाजी युनिव्हर्सिटी कोल्हापूर थँक्यू सर Now I request Mr. Mahesh Gaikwad, librarian and convener of today's conference, to felicitate President of this ceremony, Prof. G. B. Kalyan Shetty Sir, IQSC Coordinator, HM College, Sarad. Thank you, sir. I request Prof. Dr. G. B. Kalyan Shetty Sir, to felicitate Mr. Mahesh Gaikwad, convener of this conference, and librarian, HM College, Sarad. Thank you, sir. Now it is the time to felicitate delegates from Sukla who have enriched the honor of this field by qualifying NAID set examination. Also, who have been awarded PhD as well as the librarians who have contributed in this field. First, I would like to invite Vandana Sarunke, Bharti Ritapit Sangli, for qualifying NAID. Next, Siddharth Subhash Kulkarni for qualifying set and make. 
student of Y6 getting spent and net. So that full curly. Next, Yogesh Thakare for qualifying has said. Yogesh Thakare for qualifying set examination. I would like to invite Dr. Surekha Anil Pawar for qualifying PhD. Surekha Anil Pawar qualifying PhD. Thank you, sir. We will now honor librarians who have been promoted as an in charge principal. First, Dr. B. S. Padwar has been appointed as an in charge principal in M. N. Shinde Mahavidyalaya, Kisangi. Next, Professor Subhash Mode has been appointed as an in charge principal. Sampatra Mani Mahavidyalaya, Khanapur. As well as librarians promoted as an associate professor are also honored here. Here, first, Professor Tanaji Kamble, librarian, Commerce College, Kolhapur. Next, Professor Urjila Kadam, librarian, Kamala College. Mm. Professor Urmila Kadam. Next, then Professor Dhanvantari Bamne. Next, Professor Vagmare Didi, librarian, Willingdon College, Sangli. Professor Vagmare Didi. <laughs> Professor Balaji Kamle, librarian, Tange College, Hatkanangle. <laughs> Professor Prashant Kallori, Librarian, Bhogavati Mahavidyalaya. Professor Prashant Kallori. <laughs> Professor Dr. Shivaji Rao Kamale, Librarian, Kisanjian Mahavidyalaya Sangli. Dr. Shivaji Rao Kamale. Why? Kisanir Mahavidyale, why? Some librarians also honored for their part a particularly notable performance. First, Professor Harshal Pawar, librarian, Sambajira of Kadam Mahavidyale Deur, has been awarded Best Innovation Teacher Award. Professor Harshal Pawar. Next, Professor Pravin Kumar, librarian, Shankara Sarta Arts Commerce College, Vagodi, receiving a research grant from Shivaji University, Kolhapur. Mm. Professor Pravin Kumar. Uh. Next, Professor Yuvraj Patil, librarian, Vishwatram Naik Mahavidyalay Chikli, Chirada, have presented research papers in international conference, Moscow. <laughs> Professor Yuvraj Patil. Next, Professor Yasar Shivsagar, librarian, Arts and Commerce College, Pusegao, become a life worker of Well Shiksha Samstha Satara, uh. also been felicitated uh, here. Thank you, sir. Now, you guys follow. You guys follow, I got. Now it is the time to distribute the formal certificates at the auspicious hands of guest president. I would like to invite Rupali Bosley on the stage to take the certificate. Rupali Bosley is a scholar 
from Department of Library and Information Science, Kolapur. Very good. Rupali Bhosle from Kolapur. Next, I would like to invite Narayan Mangal, Librarian Srirampur, Pur, Srirampur on the stage. Narayan Mangal. Mangal. Next, Dr. Sanjay Mori, Librarian Mumbai, kindly come on the stage. Dr. Sanjay Mori, give them a round of applause. Next, Mrs. Sunita Shinde, Librarian, Arts and Commerce College, Kasegao. Mrs. Sunita Shinde. Thank you all the ladies. Now it's a big last one more certificate is there. Ambari Trupti from Pimpri College. Trupti from Pimpri College. Thank you. Now it's the time for feedback. Feedback is the essence of the program and it has to be expressed in your beautiful words to motivate and appreciate us. For giving feedback, I would like to call upon the stage Minas M. Naikoji, librarian of Shimadi Akkadai Ramgonda Patil College. Kolapur Sangli Satara, Kimbona Maharashtra, Karnataka, Shikhar Pradesh, Maharashtra Bayroom, Kito Opposite Hours and Rileys, Manali Agansa Pal, Library Science Only Research Scholar, Yapan Sarvabhan. Aachi conference, Kupat Samya Paddhati Nui Niyoyun Ke Lauta, Aapan Shagya Ki Kup Sarai Conference Online Is, Kela Chara Varsha Anubho Ule La Aayet. Aadhi Lockdown Chan Antar Aachi Pahilis Conference Aayet, Kya Pani Ni Parsan, शुक्ला <laughs> लीडर डॉक्टर आडाव सर कि जानी लीड क्या हो सुकला टीम लीड क्या हो इस कार्यक्रम हाल से आयुष के लाने आप लेसा करने के लिए आमंत्रित किए हैं नियोजन खूब अच्छा उत्कृष्ट होता है भविष्य पर अच्छा कॉन्फ्रेंसेस इन पर्सन प्रेजेंस में आप लेला आयुष करता है या वैसा नहीं क्या तो आप लेला सर्वांग तुम � she is a librarian from Kamala College, Kolapur. Barrister Baba Sahib Saradeka Knowledge Resource Center, Chai Kansapal, Dhananjay Sutar Sir, Mahavidya Lehaja IQT Coordinator, Dr. Kalyan Shakti Sir, Mahavidya Lehaja Prajaria, Dr. Mohan Rajmani Sir, बिलावर सर, योरा चादर सर, आंध, अच्छा कॉन्फ्रेंस से आयोजक महेश खायकवार सर और रविंद्र आडाव सर, आई अपन सर्व उपस्थित सहवागी ग्रंथपाल पंडुवती ने, आज आप यहाँ ला दो सेशन में दे संपत्त मार सरांसर इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग, आई डॉक्टर राजेंद्र कुमार सरांसर एक भी साल में शत्रु के लिए ग्रंथपाल में व्यवसा� व्याख्यान अपना इसलिए लाए कार्यक्रम से नियोजन अतिशय उत्तम के लिए लाए करतर महेश गायकवाड़ सर आप यह ग्रंथ पालन ग्रंथ पाल है जब दिल का बंधु बंधी में दिल सब्जेक्ट नवीन है पूर्व अच्छे उपक्रम रावण आरे इन्तु जी अस्पिक आई नवीन ग्रंथ पाला है आई इतुम पुरोहित 
आणि सगळ्यांच्यासाठी अशाच चांगल्या सेमिनार आणि कॉन्फरन्स आयोजित करतील आणि आपण सर्वजण इथे नक्कीच उपस्थित राहू महाविद्यालयाच्या प्राचार्यांनी महेश गायकवाड सरांना ही सेमिनार आयोजनाची संधी दिली त्याबद्दल महाविद्यालयाच्या प्राचार्यांचे खूप खूप आभार आणि आणखीन एक महत्वाची गोष्ट माझ्या मातृसंस्थेमध्ये माझ्या मातृसंस्थेची तुमच्या समोर भूमिका मांडताना किंवा ही मातृसंस्था किती चांगली आहे हे तुमच्या समोर सांगताना मला आज अतिशय आनंद होत आहे आणि आपण सर्वांनी आज दिवसभरामध्ये आपल्याला मिळालेल्या ज्ञानाचा नक्कीच आपण वापर करू अशी आपण सर्वांच्या वतीने मी आयोजकांना बाही देते आणि थांबते ऐश्वर्या जोशी फ्रॉम पुणे काइंडली कम ऑन द स्टेज फॉर ऐश्वर्या जोशी so first time i am for uh, attending this kind of program and uh, this special thanks to adrip uh, ma'am and the principal of this college and also the librarian sir uh, they have arranged a very good program um, so i have attended uh, many programs like a uh, uh, it seminars and the workshop but the um, positivity which i have experienced here i have never experienced before so thank you so much for that um nowadays i can see that uh, parents always uh, give the mobile phones and the video for games to their children no one give the books so <clears throat> for that we really need to do something and uh, i really want to thanks to everyone to participate here thank you so much i really enjoyed it Thank you all of you for your valuable feedback. Now I will request Dr. Dv Sudar Sir, in charge director of Parastar Bharatiya Technical Knowledge Resource Center, Jhansi University, Kolhapur, to kindly guide us. Thank you, Dr. Dv Sudar Sir. the president of this uh, valuable function for this national conference which is uh, having the vice of guru at the mars college for under the convenership of my one of the former students mahesh sir the president of this program and uh, ipsc coordinator of this college professor dr gp kanan shetty sir the dynamic leadership in the form of president of your university college libraries association dr rp arav sir with whom actually i started my career as a lecturer a librarian and lecturer and that run uh, i was uh, there in uh, shivaji rao mohan college for one year he was my colleague and since then uh, we know each other my <coughs> colleagues Dr. Bilal Sir, Deputy Librarian; Dr. Vaisi Dada Sir, from Department of Library and Information Science; and uh, all of you, my dear most professional colleagues and friends. I know that uh, every one of you, majority of you, are uh, in association with me since last many years, and uh, it is really a great opportunity for me today. that i am the chief guest for this lecture function and not a particular topic is assigned to me <laughs> otherwise you are habituated to listen to me continuously either for ipr or plagiarism or open educational resources so just i would have one dialogue with you which is very familiar one marathi sangro don divas sutti hoti kal mrs ram ne mala sakali lo upar upar karala le o manna kasha sathi manna national conference hai म्हणजे दोन दिवस होता पीपीटी तुम्ही करत असेल दिसला नाही म्हणलं मला पीपीटी प्रेझेंटेशन करायचं नाही मग म्हणजे स्क्रिप्ट कुठं दिसत नाही मग म्हणलं आता चीफ गेस्ट आहे म्हणल्यानंतर विदाउट स्क्रिप्ट मला भाषण द्यायचं दिस इज गुड ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी फॉर यू इट्स ओके नाव फर्स्टली आय वुड लाईक टू टेल यू ऑल दॅट द थिंग दॅट हॅज बीन चोजन 
for this conference is related with practical language. And along with that, we are going to take into consideration quality enhancement. So two things are very important. First one is practical. And second one is quality. Now, as far as this practical librarianship is concerned, in the first lecture, Sampur Kumar also said that um, in the, I think, inaugural address, Amit sir said that theoretical and practical librarianship. Now, we have to seriously think of it because uh, I have to make my opinions as I think suitable for this uh, profession in the present scenario. Because the practical librarianship is not possible to carry out effectively without theoretical librarianship. And what the theoretical librarianship has been uh, carried out in the last two, three years, you know better that in the COVID-19 pandemic situation, whatever the theoretical knowledge that has been imparted among the research students of the last two years, that is uh, in an online way. So whether uh, we have to think seriously, whether uh, it will have the impact on the practical capabilities of the students. And second one thing is that, if the practical capability is directly related with the quality, we have to seriously think of the quality. And that's why in the present situation, what was the theme that has been chosen is very really apt one, I think. Because uh, I came to know that uh, every time there is a recruitment in the library for like the apprenticeship. Ask them four or five questions. They are not in a position to answer one single question in a nice way. So, lastly, we were saying at least there is the five laws of primary science. So, they are not even remembering three laws and let it go in the sequence. So, when they are going to become the librarian and are going to practically handle the library, what we are going to accept from them? Here comes the importance of today's webinar. That whatever the practical aspect that has been informed to all of you, that we have to take into consideration. Now comes that is related with the quality. When we are deciding about the quality, there are three things. First one is that first thing we have to attain the quality. Quality you do not get by accident. For attaining the quality, you have to deliberately offer your sincere efforts for getting that quality. It is the teamwork. If the team is very effective one, if the team is working with the spirit, with the motivation, certainly you are going to achieve the quality. Then is it that the once the quality has been achieved, it's all over? No. When the quality has been achieved, you know that there are changes, those are really going to take place because of the changes in IPT, because of the changes in everything. Now, educational changes also there that has been brought out because of NEP 2020. Is it? All the syllabus is going to be changed, all the structure is going to be changed, the examination pattern is going to change. So that we have to take into consideration that once when the quality has been attained, it becomes very difficult to maintain that. We have to sustain that quality. And maintaining the quality requires deliberate and continuous efforts. So that is another thing. And next to that, whether you have achieved the quality and you have attained it, the next challenge is to maintain it forever. Because many of the educational institutions, including Shiva University, they are going to appear for this ISO recommendation and other things. So for that quality, indicators are very important and as a librarian we are going to contribute not only for the development of the library but also for the development of a college as a whole because as a librarian you are associated with the principal you are associated with the office you are associated with the teaching learning and pedagogy all these things are interconnected and in all this field 
there is only one person who is closely associated and that person is the library and that's why our responsibility is more this is another thing now going to think of the practically there are so many challenges in front of our profession see we have to contribute our efforts for ipsc for appearing for the net again we have to concentrate more on asr which we cannot neglect it is associated with our promotion so many of the librarians they may find some difficulties while getting the promotion if they are not going to maintain the records according to the asr then other things are there that whatever we have learned from first session to the second session so many things you might have observed that many of the research students they came on the dais so firstly i congratulate them all who dare to come on the dais and to make the presentation but you must also seriously think of one thing that whatever the paper you have presented as far as the quality of the paper is concerned what are the important thing that we have to consider whether only theoretical presentation is a research paper if yes what new idea has been imparted among you see no one has uh, presented a paper on really recent topics like what is uh, iot or that has been expert, uh, explained by the expert no one has in the librarians which are not practically being implemented at this time but in future you are expected to implement those now coming to this whenever you are going to prepare a research paper basically it must be applied one it must have properly given objectives of the paper and the hypothesis and in the analysis stage you have to refer to that particular objectives and hypothesis and along with the tables and uh, analysis and interpretation you have to show how the objectives have been comp compliance of objectives is there or not how the hypothesis have been tested and on the basis of that whether you are going to contribute to what extent now one paper was uh, presented by shubhu that was related with the english as a librarian what we are doing we are going to subscribe to the english isn't it so that is our responsibility but what after subscribing the english our second responsibility is that we are going to enroll our uh, teachers for that english isn't it but when we are going to think of the usage of the english resources you will find very poor performance now he studies stated that maharashtra is at the priority to subscribe the english but as far as its usage is concerned it's very really serious so even the lecturers who have been registered for english they do not be knowing how to make effective use of the resources so here the responsibility comes that in the suggestion he mentioned that implementation are arranged the training programs no doubt it is right i am not criticizing at least paper but what we have to think is that the outcome of the paper is that if you are the top in subscribing the english why we are not top in the usage of the english it is because the librarian themselves are not going to train their teachers about how to make use of these resources now in the last 2 uh, 3 months i have tried my level best in our university that whenever i was going to deliver a lecture in each of the department i made a demonstration about on our library home page where these resources are located after locating that resources how you have to make access to that and if you are going to make access to that which techniques you have to follow to search the information in public and you may not believe that there was such a spontaneous response that after delivering the lecture suppose if there is a mob of 70 or 75 students in the next day almost 50 to 60 students they were coming to the library and getting enrolled for the new service called impaired or key impaired library so that is what the output of your efforts that you are going to make directly by directly interacting with the uh, teachers and the students now this is one thing that you have to train them properly we are doing that because we are the masters in that now next comes many of the libraries they have prepared their websites isn't it on the website they have hosted their material on the website they have given the links and other things if they are subscribing to the e resources e databases or e books the links have been provided 
but the user are not aware about that now we have to think about this aspect that if the website has been developed by you is there a chance for you to offer or provide the web links related with the menus given in that particular web page take for example on your library web page you might have given the information about your collection is it right every one of you might have given the information about collection we have also provided the information about the collection but now recently two three days before i have made one effort that website is there there might be another menu on the web page related with whatever e books you have whatever the e resources that is uh, online journals you have subscribed or whatever e databases you have subscribed now when in the collection you are going to show that e books so you have to provide the hyperlink to that e book with the total number of collection by clicking on the hyperlink the user will directly go to the home page of the e books the same can be said about the foreign journal the same can be said about the e databases because the users are not aware they are only related with the statistical information but they did not know where to go and from how to access that so you have to provide the interlinkages of these links take for example in many of the softwares there is web open facility given isn't it so in the web open there are important links wherein the software developer has attached these important links for that even in the so 3.0 there was a hyperlink in the important links like kashorunga turungodri enlist is that it e negotiated e resources now we have changed all these things in the last week we have done that and instead of that what i have given i have given links to subscribe to e databases subscribe to e journals shivaganga portal displaying the page of shivaji university and other related things so this is one thing that interlinking of the hyperlinks related with the specific information you have hosted on your web page must be activated so this is one thing another thing is that we have to think of a new trends and techniques take for example in our university we subscribe to more than 8 databases now the user was expected to go to one particular database take for example scopus now we have scopus jgate science and technology jgate social sciences sci finder science direct the cost of which is more than 2 crore 50 lakh per annum now if we are subscribing to such resources even as a librarian you will visit that particular web page you may not be aware about all these things wherein you will find the information so recently a month before on trial basis we have started nimbus yam library application now the same application has been started by mahesh asi so it has i think it has been inaugurated they have subscribed to the databases now as a library you must know that whenever i have i want to make access to the scopus i have to enter into the scopus i have to search for the information i have to again skip i have to come out from that scopus then again i have to enter into the science direct database in the same way in each of the database i have to enter i have to come out and then i have to go to next database now yum nimbus platform is a platform where one ip is created and on that particular one ip that has been provided to all these vendors to update that ip and on that one particular ip all these databases have been brought together so it has created one subject gateway for access to all resources subscribed through all the databases all the e journals as well as all e books all e books can also be hosted on that particular ip and you know that whenever it is uh, related with access to e resources generally we provide access in two ways first one is ip based access where you need not have to give your username and password so within a campus you can have direct access to the content of the material but when it is related with the username and password you have to register yourself by giving your credentials you will get your username and your password and at every time by giving that particular username and password you can have access to that particular database so using such platforms like uh, nimbus e library platform 
it's an education, education for the uh, library profession because you are going to provide web scale discovery service wherein only one device can be used by a particular user, only one equipment can be used. So it is one device, one point access to all resources. So the new concept that has been uh, theoretically explained about uh, related with EF library that is called to be the mobile library. Now your library or your OPAC or whatever material you have in the web OPAC and out of that whatever key connection is there that you can have access through your mobile by downloading that EM library application from the Play Store and of the campus, you can have access to that. Meanwhile, uh, today someone asked me that uh, in the coming few days, uh, I was actually willing to visit your library to get remote access through internet. Basically, remote access through internet for all the resources have been stopped by us because that is not as per the rule. You see, IPR uh, regulations are there, so take it into consideration whether uh, it is going to be violated. We have stopped that. But there is another way that there is one facility in our Barrister Vansai Critical Knowledge Resource Center that you can get the membership as affiliated college teacher. So you librarians are affiliated college teacher. Simply you have to come with the letter from the principal that he is a permanent librarian. Second one is your appointment letter so that we can understand that you are permanent. And your fees is to be some hundred only. Okay. Firstly, you get that membership. After getting that membership, you will get your borrower's card. So you will become the member of the Barrister of Arts and Critical Knowledge Resource Center. So as a member, we will provide you the access to all the resources through e Nimbus library, which will be off campus access. So those research uh, lecturers, students, or not students, actually those professors who are engaged in the research or who can come to Kolhapur to access these resources for their research as well as teaching, they can also get the membership in this way. And by surpassing these rules related with the IPR, uh, they can uh, have access to all these resources which cost more than 2.5 crore per annum. So that uh, you have to think, so this is a subway. I hope that you will uh, certainly be benefited Now, with the help of those, you have to think whether at the college level you can provide library services to persons with disabilities or persons with visual impairment. Yes, you can. Because whatever the literary work that do not come under the ambit of copyrighted material, you can have access to that material. Take, for example, all the literature of the Shakespeare, it is copyrighted free. But all this is available in, on the internet archives and you may not believe that is associated with that. Its brightness can be improved, increase or decrease. It, the, it can be converted into the dark mode by your mobile. Now there is one more facility related with that, that the book can be read with the MP3 facility. So if you are going to make a collection of all these books which are in your syllabus related with the literature of a particular author on a particular also be download. Instead of downloading and wasting your space on the server, it is better to give a link from that particular source whereby that by clicking on that particular link, the user will directly go or the user will be directly converted or diverted to audio mode of that particular book provided by the libraries on their home page wherein services to the visually impaired students can be offered by you. Sir, just little bit efforts are needed on your behalf that you have to spend your time to search for the literature which is free from copyright and you have to provide the links in a very systematic way. So that is not a difficult job for the 
Scottish librarians. So that can be possible. Then uh, another important thing is that now there is a ranking for the universities and colleges like NIRP and other things. So that ranking is based on what is the research output of the lecturers in your institution. Because whatever the research paper they have published, that might be published in uh, so many indexed journals or peer reviewed journals. Ultimately, everyone has created their uh, Google Scholar account. On their Google Scholar account, all these uh, papers are there, their citations, H index, IT index has been displayed. Now, as a college librarian, it is possible for you to at least collect that data related with all the faculty in your college. If you are not having access to Scopus, get the membership through the Infred or this uh, Young Nimbus Library. If it is not possible, you can directly come to university. And from the university, you can go to your institution. From the institution, you can filter the names of your researchers. And thereby, you can count the H index citations or IT index of the lecturers in a particular college so that you can hand it over to NAC coordinator. So, their work will be reduced to a greater extent. So, that is your contribution uh, as well as the ranking and other things are concerned. In our university, I have gone through that and I found that there are so many research articles which are published on the name of Shivaji University. But there are 1800 plus unidentified research articles for whom citations, H index, and I can index has been issued, but it has not been identified who is that particular lecturer from which department and from which college. But actually, if it remains unidentified, it adversely affects the indices of the institution. So my next job will be that out of these 800 articles, I will try my level best to identify who are the lecturers, from which colleges are there, if that college is affiliated to our university, I have to convert it into identifying that. So by contacting to the Scopus, I can convert unidentified research articles of the Shiva University into identified research articles of the Shiva University, in which many of the lecturers from the colleges they contribute with their guides in the university. So it is very simple thing that certainly it is going to help you to make upgradation of your grade whenever you are going to appear for this ranking and training systems. Now as far as I have known that important links are considered, you can provide the important links to the resources that you subscribe to so that the usage can be uh, increased. So, Umbarasal 3 has given one concept, ROI, return on investment. In our university also, they are saying that we are spending 2.5 crore, crore, and how many usage is there? Now, one more resolution has been passed. On the basis of the usage, you have to take the decision to discontinue the databases which have remained unused. Now, the responsibility is for, because, in particular database is for 10 lakh and only 10 readers have been made access to that. I have to make like 10 lakh divided by 10, 1 lakh. So for one hit I am paying 1 lakh rupees. So that is not a budget for a senior college, which has been newly established or who, has, uh, who are not getting funds under ROSA or uh, UGC, isn't it? So that is called the ROI. So it can be considered also as productivity. You have to show the productivity of your resources. What is the ratio of input to the output given to that? So librarians have to make the financial management in this way that whatever the amount you are going to spend on that money spent, how much investment you are going to get in the form of quality in education, in the form of number of citations, in the form of age index of the faculty. So these are the things which are interesting. We know everything, but you know how to interlink all these aspects into one another. Today, I am the chief guest, so I can get more time at least for five minutes. So, that freedom I am going to enjoy. Okay. Uh, coming to next to that, now, as far as the uh, assessment of NAC is concerned, many of the librarians they are finding some difficulty that there are these criteria out of five e resources, at least three resources must be there, e databases, isn't it? e shows Sindhu and other things are there. But if the what you are going to consider for the e Databases, it is in the lakhs of rupees. So here comes the role of uh, university library. I may have to also call as role of the school and role of those colleges or college libraries 
which are financially strong because they have to support financially weak colleges. Now, take for example, Ray Section Sosa is there or Vivekanan Sosa is there. In that particular Sosa, how many colleges are there? So, out of these, many might be financially strong and many might be financially weak. So, if they are going to consider it as a cluster, we can decide about whether there is the possibility of library consortium. So I have made one communication with the vendor of that we will arrange for one meeting where in the librarian of that particular college along with the principal and not only principal and librarian but the president of their sansta they must come to that particular meeting because see if the president of the institution he doesn't know what is the importance of subscribing the databases in the net they are just going to ask you do you want okay good grade but whatever efforts those have been required, whatever the money they, uh, they required to be invested, that has not been considered. So if we are going to properly communicate to them, see it is possible. Suppose if a particular database is for 10 lakh rupees, and we have in cluster, take for example, 150 college libraries. So together we can decide that if a particular database of all the books which are in text, then we are going to provide it for the arts, commerce, and science. We will decide about the titles, we decide about the package, and equally we will contribute to that. And if you are going to provide it to that particular vendor, now Mr. Girish Kulkarni from the GC is engaged in this task. So it will become possible for you that instead of paying 10 lakh by all of you, each one, it is better to contribute to 20 or 25,000 per annum, isn't it? If it is not possible for you to raise the funds, you can inform your students. That in your fee, you have to pay 200 extra in term of which you will get a set of all these books in for that. I am quite sure the students will not deny that. So, that is uh, one more thing that we have to uh, go to make efforts collectively by the university library, by the Sukhla, as well as by the uh, all college library that we have to take into consideration. So, as far as uh, this. Uh, role of the supply concern i think it is the working very well so you are assisting all the college libraries but what i think uh, most important is that now the time has come to form working groups on a particular task like working group on college library automation working group on uh, free educational resources in the college libraries working group on library consortia isn't it so those expert librarians are there other librarians may not have expertise in that so those foreign librarians should have, it should have a particular expertise in a particular field. By including them, if the working groups can be created by us, and that will certainly contribute for overall improvement, not only of the college libraries, but also for the colleges as well as our profession as a whole. So this is the one important thing. Uh, if there is a role, I must say, not if there is a role, so role of the PVK class is there. We are always there with you. That is what I am saying. And uh, as far as the uh, development of the digital library is concerned, you can arrange yourself, your lectures in the classrooms, wherein you can make practical demonstrations about how we have to make use of the uh, National Digital Library, its registration, uh, World Digital Libraries, and other associated things like Enlist program. So Enlist uh, demonstration about how to make use of the resources under Enlist, that has to be made by the librarian themselves in their colleges. Find this way. Otherwise, I have uh, taken the username and password. I found all the faculty members are the members of the English, but no one is using that resource because they don't know how to make access to that particular collection. So that you have to take it uh, into consideration. As far as the building up of your digital library is concerned, when more prints are not available with you for collection building, you can go for providing the links related with all the material. Take for example, CAC content is there. EPG partial content is there, e cam course is there, isn't it? So many things are there on the website. Even from first standard to first standard, all the textbooks in all the languages are available on the bar bar. Even 400 plus e books in Marathi language that have been published by Bharat Vasi Sahitya Sanskriti Mandar, those are there. So just give a link on your home page. So ultimately, if you go on building up your library, even there are so many journals which are having free access to the collection. Yojana, Lok Rajya. So we can make a list. So working group on this aspect, that searching for the information for journals in all the subjects. 
basically those government bodies they are whatever journals they are publishing those are in public domain we didn't know we are subscribing to it there is no need to pay money for that but collectively if you are going to make that collection then each of the library can hold that collection on their library web page by giving that particular menu that access to e journals there are so many e journals scholarly e journals which are in public domain so simply username and password is required so that you can think of then comes next criteria i have considered for that uh, thing that is important as far as asr is concerned i would uh, like to inform once again to all of you that all librarians are supposed to organize one national conference in each of the year for the promotion or and two state level conferences or at iu institutional level conferences so it is better to organize for one national and two state level conferences so just like in collaboration you can organize such programs if individually it is not possible but it is very important and stock verification each year you have to carry out the stock verification and after carrying out the stock verification you have to submit the report to the authority the loss of which might be must be less than 0.05% so you have to systematically follow the book withdrawal procedure see what happens you make the stock verification you make a list of books to be withdrawn you get a sanction from the library committee that's all and after it is gone as a receipt but actually it is not when the list has been prepared you have to prepare a chart what is the name of the title then author publication year imprint year of publication price of the book and after that two three column must come depreciated value in each of the year 3% depreciation on the original value of the book has to be calculated so so much years it has been calculated accordingly we have to reduce that depreciated value then whatever the amount that comes that is your actual loss so that is capital loss so you have to provide it to the account section in your office you have to submit it to the superintendent so at the time of audit that asset needs to be removed from your total assets that amount needs to be cutted from your total expenditure that has been made in the library again that has been or has to be approved by nirlekam committee that we call as whatever the committee that is responsible for withdrawing all these things that you have to get a proper sanction from the auditor and then you have to carry out the process of this uh, reading out so that is a systematic procedure you have to go through that even office superintendents in your colleges also might not be aware about this procedure so if you are going to take the decision of your own you will be in trouble rather it is expected that whenever such critical decisions are there you must put that subject in your library committee you should pass it as a resolution you should get a sanction of the local management committee for that resolution and then you can take the decision you will be in a safe zone otherwise at the time of retirement you have to give your two three months salary to the institution mind this way so this is the another aspect now i think there are so many things i wish to communicate with all of you but uh, i think it is the uh, 520 many of you students or librarians are from outside the city i think we need to go earlier so there are so many things somehow uh, at university program i will communicate with all of all is aspects to, to all of you so thanks for uh, providing me an opportunity to, to have interaction with uh, all of you i am also very much thankful to the principal of this college rajmani sir as well as ipc coordinator kalyan shetty sir the librarian of this college mahesh sir and all of you college librarians who are very closely associated with the bbk krc as a librarian's family So whenever you will find any difficulty, you will get any assistance. You are free to come at any time to the library and have assistance from me. Dr. Bilawar sir is also there, who is looking up on the work of the NAC, and uh, Dr. Thorat sir is also there, who is uh, looking up on the work of automation of all these things. So all these staff is very supportive. Even in the department, Jado sir and Patni sir are also there. So together, I am quite sure that if you unite our efforts together. the work of the library is going to be very simple and
So we, we also have prepared a report of the conference and my friend Avina sir will be ready to present, but time not permit us. So that's why I will share this, this that report on our WhatsApp group. So respected signatories on the dais and of the dais, you know, IT participants. I feel an honor to get this opportunity to conclude the one day national conference on practical librarianship and quality enhancement jointly organized by Teacher of our Central Library of Sadhguru Gargi Maharaj College Tarak and Shivaji University College Librarians Association, Kolhapur. Certainly, this conference were very useful and we all got opportunity to make aware ourselves the challenges and developments made in the field of library and information science. While organizing national conference is a challenging task, it is cannot possible without a great preparation and wide working supporting hand, support from every corner and blessing. Now it is time to convey our gratitude to all who have extended their support to make this conference successful. First of all, I would like to most humbly thank to Dr. R.K. Kamath sir, Vice Chancellor of Dr. Humi Baba State University, Mumbai, for their meaningful presence and guidance over here. I would like to thank today resource person, Professor Dr. B.T. Sampat Kumar sir, and Dr. Rajendra Kumbhar sir. I would like to also thank to the valid pre session guest of honor, Dr. D.P. Kutar sir, and President the session of Dr. G.P. Kalan City Search. Thank you, both of you. In addition, I would like to thank Dr. Ilawar sir, Dr. Vaidhi Dado sir, Dr. Shivaji Kambe sir for their valuable presence. At the outset, of, on behalf of the organizing committee, I would like to express our profound gratitude to our beloved principal, Dr. Mohan Rajmani sir, for his motivation and dynamic leadership. Sir, you are our source of motivation and energy. I would like to thank our Vice Principal, Professor S. Patil sir, for their continuous support for any kind of program. Ladies and gentlemen, our words may not be capable to express our sense of gratitude to Dr. R. P. Rao sir, President of Sukla, Dr. D. S. Parva sir, Secretary of Sukla, and all team members of the Sukla for their valuable support. Sir, we have organized this conference collaboratively, and I also continue to believe this association will go a long way. This event would not have been successful without the organizing committee, so I would like to thank all the organizing committee members for their valuable support. I would like to thank office staff members, teaching staff members, and also non-teaching staff members. My, all the library staff members, especially Mr. R. T. Garut, sir, for his smart program management. All the my earn and learn team students who have taken efforts with me from last couple of days. I would like to special thank Dr. Ahinda Vagmure, Madam, Department of Botany. And also I congratulate her for today she got two patents in her career. Thanks to Dr. Iram Khan, man. And I also thanks to Dr. Sharda, Dharge ma'am, she also got today one patent for their support of anchoring. Last but not least, I would like to thank all the participants from Orlin, their own Orlin response for this particular conference on behalf of organizing committee and with the permission of president. I declare that this conference is concluded. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. In the permission of president, of this ceremony, I conclude that the validity of the ceremony is over. There is one announcement. All the participants are requested to kindly give a visit to Keshavram Power Library, HM College. Uh, and the link on the journal will be posted.